He's the face of evil. Very conniving, con artist. He isn't just manipulative. He had a dark soul. But also calculated. And no conscience. We come to realize that Perez was, was a really very bad man. Where is Edgardo Luis Perez? Do you think he would have any reason to come back here? Uh, he still has family in the area. Let's go back to October of 2001. Years and years of hard work, about to pay off for 55-year-old Gordon Maycheck, celebrating his retirement from his job as a talented stylist and designer at Chrysler. He was a genius when it came to his craft. His Farmington Hills home on 13 Mile near Inkster Road, private and quiet. Friends say, just like Gordon. He was very kind. He was very um, gentle, just a, a real gentleman. Gordon and his longtime boyfriend, Jim Johnson, together for years, designing their dream home just outside of Tampa, Florida. The couple soon to break ground on their five acre property. Jim Johnson heading to the property October 19th and checking in with Gordon like they usually do. The next day, police say Gordon told Jim he planned on taking a bike ride with a young man named Eddie. Gordon apparently meeting his new friend Eddie at a nearby health club. Jim was trying to get a hold of Gordon to say, hey, the developers ask me questions. You know, where are you? I need to get a hold of you. They're ready to break ground. And on the 22nd, Jim still in Florida getting a call from one of their credit card companies. Unusual charges on Gordon's card from Mexico. The next day, Jim calling good friends and neighbors Sue and Vic Macri, asking them to check the house. Vic out of town, so Sue heading over alone, but on the phone with Jim. Nothing out of place, except the garbage hadn't been taken out and a couple of newly washed green towels in the dryer. Jim uneasy. He goes, we never use those towels. Those are just show towels. Jim then panicking after learning Gordon's medicine that he needs daily for his failing vision was still in the fridge. If that medication is gone, it's probably gone. And if it's not, and he doesn't have the medication, he'll be blinded within a day without that medication. He needs it. Sue then filling out a missing persons report with Farmington Hills Police. Well, he's calling it suspicious circumstances and searching the home, but not finding anything alarming. Jim arriving a few days later, and now over a week after Gordon's been missing. We went into the basement. I noticed that the carpet was cut, and right away, Jim said, this is not normal. Gordon, the artist and the perfectionist, would never cut this carpet this way. And why? Then Jim starts panicking. Then he says, oh my God, something's happening here. Something's happening here. Something's happening here. Farmington Hills Police more thoroughly searching Jim and Gordon's home, learning an old black steamer trunk, a family heirloom, was missing. Cops noticing deep drag marks on the floor and a butcher knife missing from the kitchen block. We did find small amounts of blood on the wall and on a nearby plant. After testing using luminol and alternate lighting, it was determined that underneath where the carpet was, the cement contained long, lar large sides of blood, a lot of blood loss. But no Gordon. Police looking inside his new van still parked in the driveway. The same deep drag marks inside. Do you think the trunk may have been used to dispose of the body? But that's what we believe. At this time, police only hearing of a young man named Eddie, not much else. But a few days later, Jim discovering another piece of evidence linking Edgardo Perez to Gordon Maycheck, Gordon's planner, inside a neatly written name and phone number. It was unfolding pretty quickly, and the next thing we needed to do was find where Perez currently was. Immediately, Vic recalling a strange encounter weeks prior. I was in the backyard raking leaves and I heard the alarm go off. Vic heading over and calling the police and while waiting for them to arrive. And I see a man walking out of the bush on Jim and Gordon's property. He said, oh, I thought you were Gordon. Who are you? Yeah, I said, who are you? And he says, I'm a friend of Gordon's. I was in the neighborhood and I thought I would come up, come by and say hi. 
what was strange was his, his, his dress, him wearing that long coat almost down to his ankles, something that you'd see in an old western where the, the guys were having uh, gunfights. Vic says the man had an accent and looked just like Edgardo Perez, but a little heavier and his hair had been combed forward. Police now on the hunt learning Edgardo Perez had grown up not too far away. Police searching Edgardo's bedroom inside his parents' home in Beverly Hills. Cops quickly learning Gordon Maycheck's murder may have been meticulously planned. We found many uh, items um, uh, in books about how to make fake IDs. Other reading materials, how to live in the wilderness and how to be a fugitive. How calculated is this guy? Uh, very. He, he's very researched. Uh, he did his homework. He studied. Police then learning Edgardo Perez also has a history of assault, domestic violence, and even impersonating a police officer to try and rob someone. Edgardo, a no-show for his probation hearing days before Maycheck went missing. He was all about the big score, the quick big score. Police then learning Edgardo had been acting as Gordon, trying to remove money from Gordon's stock account. Kelly Premium Services, Clark Area speaking. How may I help you? Yeah, I was wondering why my, my brokerage account, something's wrong with it online for trading. Can I get your name, please? Gordon Maycheck. Okay, Mr. Maycheck. Now, um, what kind of error were you getting that prompted you to call? Are you trying to trade? Yeah, I'm, try I'm trying to liquidate a couple of, uh, a couple of uh, positions. Edgardo also using Gordon's credit cards to get a haircut, take his girlfriend to the movies, and for a few fancy meals. He did use uh, the, the victim's identification to purchase a ticket um, to fly out of Detroit to, to uh, uh, San Diego. Cops pulling the surveillance video of Edgardo Perez walking through security at Detroit Metro Airport. Just like it's no big deal. Like it's no big deal, correct. Sergeant Chad Double says Edgardo Perez then crossed the border into Mexico, using Gordon's credit card to stay in a hotel in Tijuana. The FBI on his trail, but... By the time they got to the hotel where he was last seen and the card was last used, uh, he was gone. Now, nearly 18 years later, Edgardo Perez, Gordon's body, and that trunk never found. You know, Gordon's mother died knowing that her son was murdered. That's all she had. It was her only boy. It killed her and it killed you. He had a stroke. Gordon just thought he was going to go for a bike ride. Right. Something so innocent. Police say Edgardo Perez, who has ties to Indiana, Mexico, Spain, and Puerto Rico, may look like this now. Back in 2001, Edgardo, known to be rather vain, so likely keeping up with his appearance at age 37. And in total, what did he get out of killing Gordon Maycheck? thousand dollars. Still out there somewhere. Police say Edgardo Perez is likely staying busy, scamming, stealing, selecting his next victim. God knows what else he did.